say to the church, the world is not prepared to listen to us in these last days if there is no influence. God is looking for influential people. Can I talk to somebody here? Amen. So he's going to make some have money. That's okay. Not everybody is going to be rich. Amen. But he's going to anoint some to have money. A financial influence. Some are talking to somebody. But there's somebody who's going to have intellectual influence. But he's going to have somebody who has spiritual influence. But he's going to coordinate all that together for the working and effectiveness of the body of Christ. So when God is raising somebody up financially, ah, oh, just work in accordance with them. Don't get intimidated or paranoid that they're going to leave you behind. Tell them you're not leaving me behind. I might not have what you have, but I'm coming with you. I might not go to the school you go, but I'm coming with you. Tell somebody don't leave me behind. Amen. I might not look like you, but I'm coming with you. You dare not leave me behind. Somebody give God praise in this house. And I say, oh, soul, that what the dear in the ninth century. Amen. Glory when Ahab reigned. You know, it was a technical time. But Ahab was a tough man. Amen. To be king in those days. But God is not looking for some jelly back persons to stand in the line of the prophetic in these days. You have to be tough and rugged in spirit. You can't be easily walked over. You can't be easily thrown over. Ah, oh, you got to be resilient. You got to be strong. And you got to be resolute. Is there anybody in this time that said it doesn't matter how the waters roll? I'm going to stand the test of time. Because I'm here to do a work. Stop somebody tell them I'm here to do a work. I'm not here to give tax to trouble. I'm not here to criticize. I'm not here to tear the body down. I'm here to build up the body. Somebody give up. Don't get intimidated when I show up. I'm here to do a work for God. Anybody here know that there's an assignment on your life. Huh? And there's a destiny to connect with. Huh? And that's why sometimes you have to pull yourself away from somebody else. Huh? Because who God wants to connect you with. Huh? If you bring that individual over, they're going to mess up what God is pulling together. Ah, oh, tell somebody I'm not leaving. Huh? Amen. I know some folks uh, are like the prophets uh, who said, don't you see your master's about to be taken away? Why don't you pull back? Tell somebody, pull yourself away uh, from all those who are pulling you back from what God calling you into. Sometimes you hang up with the wrong crowd uh, and you allow them to influence your mind. That's the way you're going. Uh, but I'm not looking at what they say. I know what God says. Everybody here know what God says about you. Uh, and there's some folks who don't see what God show you. They don't have your revelation. So when you get your revelation and God give you a plan, you can't let nobody mess with your plan. That somebody God gave me a plan and I'm going to work with it. Look at the devil and say, work your plan. Sometimes it looks funny, but work it. Sometimes it looks stupid, but work it. Sometimes you look foolish, but work it. That somebody I got a plan. But there's going to be a shifting in the power, and I must line myself up for the next pouring. Is there anybody in this generation that's lining up and said, I'm next in line for a blessing? Somebody give God praise. Look at them and say, Give God praise. Ah, oh, glory to God. I'm about to finish. But you must understand also that he has, amen, in the northern kingdom of Israel. And Ahab was reigning over there. There were two forces to reckon with. But when God put his power in you, you can override, amen, every hurdle, and every obstacle that the devil wants to cast in your way. And some of you backslid and leave church and get upset because you claim that folks are getting on your nerve. Well, tell somebody God plant me here. And I'm not leaving until I do my work. Give God praise. Uh, you didn't call me, God called me. You didn't anoint me, God anoint me. Criticize me all you want, God anoint me. Laugh at me all you want, God anoint me. You can't help it. When the anointing of God is on you, you will allow folks to walk over you. And you don't even feel it. Uh, there's somebody I don't even feel it. Uh, they talk about me, I don't even hear it. Uh, they criticize me, I don't even see it. I know you don't like my style, but work with me. You don't 
set fire to the next generation. Open up your mouth and bless somebody. Open up your mouth and encourage somebody. You got the name of some press on. Come on, set forward still. This your hold as well. Go to Billow Stations pray with a hungry prayer. Set push. You got the name of set push. Said if you can't do anything else, push. That's what Paul said. This is the one thing. I'm ready to work. Look at the neighbor, the neighbor. I'm ready to 
You mean this term in your mind? Hey, look, shut up. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, open up your spirit. Salt is about to walk into the water. Shut up, salt of us. We are the salt of the earth. We are about to salt your bitter water. God is turning your water sweet. Open up your mouth like you know healing is happening. Most of you need the Holy Ghost press your way through. Some of you are coming from broken marriages, broken families, broken relationships, broken friendship. Open up your mouth and begin to cry to God. Say, I need it. I need it. I'm giving you a chance to open your mouth. I told you you can't shut your mouth. You got a call from the prophet. You got a call from the prophet. There are anointed prophets in this house tonight. You dare not walk out of this house the way you came. The mantle is here. The prophet is in the house. I'm about to turn over the mic. Who's on the altar? You got to have an attitude. That say, I really need it tonight. Those say, you really need your healing. You got to lift those hands. Say, I really need healing, Jesus. The play days are over. I've been bitter long enough. I've got to have a change. Touch my waters tonight. Jesus! Be salted. Be salted. 